for the last six years, an estimated 3,000 people have been killed in attacks by herdsmen on farming communities in Benue State. Perhaps the deadliest of the attacks was recorded from February the 19th, 2016, when Fulani herdsmen from Nasarawa State crossed the river Benue and began a six-week-long rampage through Agatu local council, leaving death and destruction in their wake. One year after, the open grazing prohibition and ranchers' establishment law was passed with a November 2017 deadline to criminalize open grazing. But how well are cattle herders in the state complying with the law ahead of the deadline? Even within the village, I've had problems with my neighbor brothers and sisters here on the farm. So if within a small community like Igbo here, I've had problems of my cattle uh, going into other people's farm. On a wider society where the cattle herdsmen from the Fulanis intrude into farmers' lands, that shows that it will affect them the more. And if daggers are drawn, blood will be shed, people will be killed. Converting expired car tires to ranch building materials is one of the innovations introduced by the indigenous cattle herder. A model example for rearing cattle in the 21st century is provided by Governor Samuel Ottom's own Oracle farm. Ranching has many advantages. Why you see, when you expose the animal too much, moving from place to place, many kilometers, the energy, the weight of the animals is reduced. There's no, some of them you see then they are macheted. But when they are on ranching or this intensive system, you provide everything you need for them. So that is what we are doing here. And we are showing the whole world that ranching is possible. You can do it. As you see, we are doing it. We have different units. From here, you go to another unit. So ranching is the only way. You can see we don't have problem of haysmen versus farmers again. At the large cattle market in Makadi, the owners asked the Benue state government to relax the law to accommodate those who cannot afford to buy land for ranching. However, the state governor assures this category of herders of plans to build three ranches as clusters for their businesses. It should be okay, the three central zone should, be, should have a big ranch which the farmers will be away from the ranches of uh, where the animal will be kept. It should be good. While the traditional rulers at this joint stakeholders meeting insist on the November deadline for ending open grazing, the Fulani leadership, however, is requesting for an extension of time. The information, the statement that the anti-grazing law we quietly understood with it and we accepted it, it is the best way to handle this issue, problem of farmers and herdsmen. But we need time, sensitization is the best. For the Fulani to know what is actually meant, there is need for the government to give us a little time and to give us a support. So far, while the local herders have been complying, it appears no Fulani herdsman has begun the process of acquiring land for ranching. This may just be well another potential conflict brewing as the dry season approaches, when the herdsmen migrate to the Benue Valley for grazing.